Okay, barbecue fans, I'm really interested in this location. We're at City Barbecue in Avon. Can't wait to check it out and try it. Let's go. Welcome to City Barbecue. Here in Avon, we're joined by Rick Mailer, the founder, and they are celebrating 25 years in business. Listen, it smells great in here. It looks amazing. How did you get started? Well, it was 25 years when we had this crazy idea to start a barbecue joint in Columbus, Ohio. So we're a local Ohio company, and all I really wanted to do was have a great barbecue joint, have a fun business in, in town, and do something that I love to do. And so we started our first place, and uh, we actually started as a catering company officially because we had so many delays in the first restaurant open that I had to cook in my driveway. The neighbors loved me because I would take side dishes to their ovens because I didn't have enough oven space to do some catering jobs. So I'd say, hey, can I use your oven space to bake some beans? Oh. And, and they would go, yeah, yeah, you can use it, but could you bring a pork shoulder when you're done? Well, this is awesome. I want to kind of take us through the process here because it's all very fresh. I think people would be interested to know how this happened. The company was really started by a competition barbecue team. And so the product that maybe launched the company is the good old brisket. So we bring this in and it's actually, we trim this. Okay. So this is all trimmed out. And then we just put it on the smoker. We put some seasoning on low and slow for about 18 hours. Wow. Every meat we have, we serve it right off the smoker. So we don't take it out, reheat it, do anything like that. We serve it off the smoker. So this is good old brisket. Pork shoulder is what started the company as well. And we use a Boston butt with a bone in. This is a little bit, I know there's a lot of barbecue folks out there that like to learn a little bit. So maybe we get a little lesson here. Have some nice fat on top yeah, when you're flavor. cooking this pork shoulder because it just kind of, it's going to melt a little bit. It's going to create more moisture. And then the last thing is the St. Louis cut rib. And one little tip for you also is there's always this membrane on the back uh -huh. and you want to peel that off and it just eats a lot better. But really it's a fairly simple process so it takes a lot of time. We season it, we put them on these smokers with hickory wood and let, uh, let nature do its work. 18 hours, so you're coming in and getting something that's had some labor love going through. Oh yeah, our pit masters are working hard. Now, the ribs aren't 18 hours, but the brisket definitely is. Very yeah. nice. Let's yeah. move down the line here okay. and see kind of like what happens at the end. So then these, these ribs come off the smoker right here. Well, how do you know they're done? Well, I like to use the Pierce test, and it's, it's fairly simple. You just poke your finger in there, Yep. right? See how that broke? How that meat? So that means you just have a really nice tender piece of meat. Whoa! And uh, look at that, really nice rib. I think our barbecue should be, you know, basic and excellent. And also, we have a rule at City Barbecue: if we have to put sauce all over our meat, we got something to hide. So we we want you to enjoy the smoke and the taste of that flavor. I love that. And then over here, here's our brisket. See how it got smaller? It actually shrinks a bit because okay. it just is rendering. It's cooking through this process. But what you have is you have your two pieces of the brisket. You have your point and then you have your flat. This is the flat, okay? I'm gonna cut that about the thickness of a pencil. And let's see if it tears, nice, nice and tender. Pork shoulder, remember I said I like that bone. One of the indicators of, is this pork cooked right? Can you pull the bone out? So when you have the shoulder, oh, there we go. Wow, it looks amazing i know but it doesn't do justice to how this smells right now the people have to come you want a bite or we'll wait after the camera you know what let's go sit down and i'm ready to feast okay go <laughs> Woo, we've got quite a spread here now this is just what you could get any any time here yeah this is every day at the restaurant and so we have some of our uh, just classic recipes here you know when we talk about being an ohio company the chicken is from ohio but some controversial recipes here like the green beans uh, that's my mother-in-law's recipe, but that's what we're saying. I have a neighbor that says she gave me the recipe, but I'm going with my mother-in-law for marital purposes. The, the greens come in as fresh greens, and we make those with our own stock and so forth. So the things on this table really are made in this restaurant and in every one of our restaurants. You know, the holidays are coming up. Uh, we, this is phenomenal for holidays, and also we're really good at taking all this food and putting it into a bigger order for a party. This travels so well, and, it, and it's just a blast to have, and we call them party packs. Yep, listen, I'm going straight in here, guys. Yeah. See this bad boy? And try that. You're gonna love that chicken. The chicken's so good. Mm. Yep, fresh wow. chicken, not frozen. Comes in, wow. we smoke it, smoke it down. The corn pudding, 
has become a real staple for us. You know, people think that recipes have to be developed by some professional chef. Actually, everything I'm looking at here has been from some founder of how we developed the recipe. And this recipe was from a potluck supper. Cool, there's a lot of hands that have gone into these recipes. Yep. I think it even makes it more homey and mm -hmm. more, you know, there's a real purpose behind what you've created and I think it's yep. cool and it very much so comes across in the food. So flavorful. Rick, thank you so much for your time. This is amazing. The people have got to stop and you have to try this yourself. Where can people find you? We've got uh, we have six locations in the, in the Cleveland area. And so just get on our website, citybbq.com, and you can find where those locations are. Rick, thank you so much for your time. you got to stop in and try this yourself.